Hey guys, just want to do a quick video today on flattening whetstones. Got to flatten these for an upcoming video or a couple upcoming videos. So I figured I might as well make a quick video and show you how I flatten them. Okay, so what I have here is just a piece of sanded plywood. You don't have to use a piece of sanded plywood. Um, you could even use a piece of regular old plywood on your workbench as long as it's fairly flat. Um, I know a lot of people like to use glass because it's, uh, it is truly flat or most of the time it's truly flat if it's laid on a flat surface. Glass can bow and bend a little bit, but it's honestly, it's not that critical. So what I use to flatten is basically just a piece of sandpaper, not super high tech, just a piece of sandpaper laid on a flat surface and I like to clamp it down. This is just a, a wood clamp if I can get this adjusted right. There we go. And then I basically just take my whetstone, put it on the sandpaper, and go to town. So you can see where it's starting to rub the high spots. Um, you can use water on this. I don't like to use water. I think it just kind of makes things messy. And I don't really think it speeds up the process or really helps the process in any way. Um, at least on these stones. Maybe other stones you do need water or uh, something to carry the particulate away. But for these stones, no water seems to work fine just on regular sandpaper. So after just a couple seconds, you can see how uh, far along we are. We're still kind of working those high spots down. Um, this doesn't, or it shouldn't take too long. If you find it's taking too long, use a little bit uh, coarser grit sandpaper. I'm using 150 grit. Honestly, it can be uh, probably even coarser than 150 grit. I've actually flattened these particular stones here on a sidewalk before. Now it doesn't do the best job. Um, it kind of leaves a, a pretty rough surface. It does work. If you don't have any sandpaper and all you have is a sidewalk, you could definitely use it. It's not necessarily going to hurt anything. It might just take a little bit of time to uh, work that rough surface down on, on the stones. We've got this little spot right here that's still a little bit low. The rest of this is looking pretty good. Worked on that for maybe two minutes, not long at all. This process goes relatively quickly. We're talking about maybe 15 minutes total time to uh, flatten four sides of two stones. I'm just gonna change the paper here real quick because it's not doing a real good job of cutting. One sheet of paper doesn't really last that long. Um, I would figure probably five sheets for four sides of two stones. So now we can move on to the other side. There's really no reason, as far as I can see, to change out the sandpaper between grits if your sandpaper is still in good condition, as long as you wash the stone off before you use it. Okay guys, so this method actually takes probably about 15 minutes, maybe, tops. However, if you're in a hurry and 15 minutes is way too long, there's a much faster way to do this if you have power tools. It's also like crazy dusty, so I gotta put the camera away for this, but I think you get the point. So it doesn't really matter the exact method that you use, as long as what you're using is on a relatively flat surface and your stone is flat when you're done. That's really all that matters. So how often would you really need to flatten your stones? Um, it, it really kind of depends on the type of knives you're sharpening. If you're sharpening knives with really large bevels, you wanna keep your stones flatter. Um, if you're sharpening chisels, um, scanty ground knives, the flatter the stone the better. If you're sharpening knives with smaller bevels you can get away with a lot more. I don't really like flattening as much as possible because I feel like it kind of wastes the stone. I can kind of use the higher spots to grind away at certain areas if I need to and uh, I don't end up with my stone all over a piece of sandpaper. But in the beginning it can help you maintain an angle having a nice flat stone. So in the beginning, I'd probably keep it as flat as possible. Once you really start to know what you're, what you're doing, you can get away with a lot more and a lot more uneven stone. I know some people like to have as flat a stone as possible and they flatten after every time they sharpen. Um, I don't take it to that extreme. Honestly, you can probably tell by looking at these stones that it's not a super huge deal to me to have a a slightly uneven stone. So those are my thoughts and uh, I'll continue flattening and that's pretty much the gist of it. It's not rocket science. You basically just find a flat surface with a piece of sandpaper and go to town. So hopefully this video helps. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.